Hi, it's Tanya Parsons again, and I'm following the AV diet. Um, and as my previous video showed, I've just um, completed week one. It's about implementing um, water into your diet, including some wheatgrass and um, pH balance drops as well into your water. Um, I just thought while I'm in the video mode, I would just show you, which I'm not going to enjoy doing at all, because um, looking back at the video, I realised my headshot and shoulders, you know, I look slender. And as I explained to you, I'm under 5 foot, I'm only 4 foot 11, and my little bit of a heart. Anyway, I'm going to show you where I'm really unhappy with um, and um, why I constantly live in black leggings. And thank God for high heel boots, that's all I can say. So um, here goes, I'm going to hate this bit, really, really am. Okay, um, I've, I don't normally have boobies. I've filled out in my bust. My arms are filled out. Um, see they've got quite rounded and filled out. If I step back, um, I've had to resort to wearing tops like I would have done when I was pregnant, so you can see. Um, but I'm swollen here, I'm going to turn ends as we go around as well. Um, if I step back a bit, um, if I go down that way so you can see better. Keeping that cross a lot there. I'm going to have to come into the, um, the webcam just to put it down a bit. Um, so with my legs, as you can see, and what explains in the diet, when you are very acidic, you do fill out in the areas like your bottom, your legs, your hips, your tummy, and everything. And this has happened. You can see I've come out quite a bit here. And if I turn that way, you know, you see how my tummy's gone. It's up my back as well. So if I can go like that, my back is, if I get a bit closer, I don't even see it on here. But um, it's got quite um, bulky as well. My bottom, um, I've not had a bottom like this since I was pregnant. And um, I, it's a bit of an optical illusion here because I have actually got some um, pregnant on. But um, you can see I, my legs are joined now, whereas before um, I used to be, you know, slender enough. So that, um, I would have a bit of a gap in everything, um, but it's, I am, um, as you can see, constantly swollen here, um, and um, it's very uncomfortable actually, so I'm hoping that as my body corrects itself, with um, making it more alkaline, that a lot of these, the swelling and a lot of, some of my pains will go, um, and hopefully I won't have to see a specialist again, and um, have more surgery, because that's been my fear that, that I'm going to have to have more surgery um, and fingers crossed again, fingers crossed, that I won't have to. Um, so anyway, when I took my measurements, um, uh, I could definitely see that I've become very much in between like a pear and apple shape. Um, and, um, you know, even though I've had four children in total, I've actually got an adult daughter as well. And I had my three children between the years 2004, 2007, and I was left five stone overweight. And it did take me a long time to get rid of the weight, but I did. And um, I haven't got a photograph I can show you now, but um, I got down to eight stone three, which was ideal for me. And then I settled eventually around the eight five mark, um, which I loved, you know, and I felt really, really good. Um, but like, I, I'm, I'll let you know what I'm weighing now. I'm weighing nine nine. Um, and uh, I think actually that's uh, more than 14 pounds, is it 14? No, it's probably about the 16 pound mark, 16, 17 pounds. Um, so yeah, so my face and my shoulders and everything is still looking okay, but it's as you go down. And I'm, I just wanted to show everyone that. So, um, and I'll just quickly give you my measurements. My measurement um, for my top of my waist was 30, which a lot of people like that for the proper waist. And my navel area was 34, which is really unlike me. Um, and then going down, it goes down to 37 for the hips and 39 for the fullest part around my bottom area. So um, let's just hope that the, um, as the weeks go by that these things will improve. Um, and uh, I look forward to speaking to you again. And I'll do another one of these videos probably in about two weeks' time to give the chance for the body to adapt. Okay, bye.